What is up everybody? Eric here. Uh, this video, uh, just want to let you know, it uh, it was on the spot, like I, I wasn't thinking about recording. Then I realized I probably should because there are no videos of the Hyundai Azero at all. Nothing. It's only Elantras, Sonatas, no Azeros, like as if the car never existed. So I figured I might as well make a video out of it. Uh, putting, you know, Nissan parts in a Hyundai and uh, ended up losing a 12 mil socket. Not the 10, the 12 mil, so that's weird. And yeah, so there was a few things, you know, quick story, a few things that was going on. The Hyundai Azera was acting weird. Like I didn't know why. Um, like the memory seat wasn't doing what it's supposed to the moment I get in the car and turn it on it should adjust automatically to the position that I have it and it, it had like it's just stopped it had stopped doing that la the the previous week and so Friday of last week I go out to start the car to go to work and all it does is this clicking noise I could not believe that the car would not start like I had no idea why it would start I checked the voltage voltage was fine you can hear like the starter trying to engage but it wasn't engaging no cranks no nothing um, I didn't know what it was I called the Hyundai dealership they told me it could be that there isn't enough amps going through to start the car and, uh, and I was like you gotta be kidding me so I go online, maybe seeing what other, what else it could be. Maybe it could be the battery. It could be anything else. Like I, I had no idea, because it was the first time I had experienced this, and I ended up having to call um, my work. I had to let them know that I was going to be late, and then I was able to get it jump started. Got to to my job like three hours late, and it worked. It was able to start up fine when I got to work. Then Saturday morning hit, and it wouldn't start. I was like, "You gotta be kidding me, dude!" Had my uh, uh, my in-law uh, help jumpstart the car. Got to work on time, and then my job gave me a Nissan battery because you know, I don't work for Hyundai. I'm, I'm working for uh, Nissan right now, so I said, "Why not?" What could go wrong? It's a battery, right? So yeah, putting Nissan parts into a Hyundai. It's, uh, it's not what I thought I would do, but it works. It works. So I suggest uh, to always use factory parts. But anyways, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, uh, drop down a comment. Let us know what you thought of the video. Enjoy. What is up everybody, Eric here from TODG. Uh, today's video, we're doing the battery swap on my Hyundai Azera. This is a 2012 for those of you who are uh, interested and those of you who don't uh, know if uh, maybe the year or something is different. So I don't, I'm not entirely sure if all the Azeras are the same. I just know that mine's, is, this is how it is. So right now I've got the positive terminal and the negative terminal disconnected. These are 10 mil uh, bolt sockets. So you're gonna need a 10 mil. You're also going to need uh, a 12 mil bolt or socket, not bolt, because there is a 12 mil bolt that helps, uh, that's down there that holds the battery down. So I made, so obviously this video is going to help a lot of other people that own Azeros because there's not that many Azero videos online. Now, as you can see, I have a Nissan battery because I, I, I work at a Nissan dealership. So I asked to get a battery and uh, we don't know if it's going to fit. Hopefully it fits. So yeah, we're going to be putting Nissan parts into uh, Hyundai. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So I had already taken the liberty of removing the battery. Like I said, you're going to need the 10 mil for both the positive and negative. You're going to need a 12 mil socket for this piece right here that connects like this, that I guess holds down the battery. 
here's the stock battery that I got with the uh, Hyundai. Uh, this is how it looks like. I'm guessing this holds it down. Seems like it good. So I don't think that's going to hold down the, the battery. But anyways, let's put this away down here. What I can do here for this, because this is what holds down the factory battery. Kind of want it to see if I can get it fixed, or at least get it tight enough where it won't budge. But it seems like the bolt is long enough, so we'll, we'll see what happens. Hopefully, I can give it. I have the space needed to hold it down. Yep. You would normally would like to get a factory battery for your vehicle. Maybe an aftermarket one that's specifically for a vehicle. This is a Nissan one. We just measured it out and try to hope it'll hold it or at least fit on the vehicle. So I'm just testing it out to see what happens. So if it works, that's great. I won't have to spend over $100 in a new battery for this thing. Uh, if it doesn't work, well then, at least now, now you know, and I, that factory is really the way to go for these type of things. And not trying to put in another car's battery where it doesn't belong. I mean, not the best perf uh, fit, but it actually is holding down pretty good. So that's great. Now, I'm gonna put on the terminals. Right now, this is kind of in the way, so I don't know if I should try to chip it away a little bit. I know this protects, uh, this covers up the battery acid and all that, so I don't know if I want to do that or if I want to just take my chances and leave it like this until I get an actual battery to go on to. So, let's see what happens. It's on there tight. Let's see what happens. Again, get a battery specific for your vehicle because there's no guarantee that this will work. 
And if it does, that'd be a miracle. Okay, there we go. Now, we're gonna put back this intake tube. up start it up and see if she'll start hopefully she does it's uh not the best fit like i said positive is a little bit above the battery so i, I want to see if i could probably cut a little piece of this uh, plastic off and hopefully that can help uh with the space i know it's it's pretty snug on here even though it's not the correct fit so We'll see what happens when we start her up. Lips. And that's not even the right battery. So, if it works, it works. But uh, yes, just to clarify, remember it. Again, if it get the battery specific to your vehicle, the only reason I did this was because I didn't have the time to pay for uh, a Hyundai Genuine battery. So I did a battery for my job. That's about it. So for now, this is just a temporary use. I don't know if I can return this. Maybe, hopefully I can. We get in a, a battery that fits this part. Also, while I was taking out the stock factory battery, my 12 volt, uh, not volt, my 12 mil socket dropped in the car. So now I gotta figure out where that went. Hopefully it doesn't disappear. Uh, also, future video, I'm gonna have to replace uh, my air intake tube because it's broken and uh, it's my fault. So thanks again. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe. Uh, write down in the comments what you thought. And like what we try to do here at the Orange Den Garage, we try to envision our dreams. So right now, because of what happened, I had to think of something. I had a dream up of something, you know. I gotta envision what I need to do for this car. But what I did was the battery was changing, putting it in a different battery, you know, all that type of thing. But anyways, envision your dreams, everybody. Take care again and enjoy the rest of your day.